What's up, people? Once again, it's the Black Cobra with your gadgets, your games, and your gear. This is the fourth video, the final one in the series on the intelligent flight modes of the DJI Phantom 3 standard. Now, today we're going to work on waypoints. We'll give you a quick overview, a couple of video clips, and we'll, uh, we'll wrap it up showing you just how great the waypoints works out for you when you're using the intelligent flight mode, trying to get the right shot the perfect flight from the DJI Phantom 3 Standard Edition. Let's go. All right, so we're gonna give it a shot trying to show you inside here because outside is kind of tough to see the screen. So we're gonna try and show you so you can get a clearer idea. When you're setting these modes, today we're gonna work on waypoints. When you're setting them, the first thing you're gonna do is this toggle switch here, the function switch. Then you're gonna to toggle it over, which enables the multi uh, intelligent flight modes. If you look at the screen here, right here, this button here that just popped up when we did that, it allows you to do the multi the multi uh, intelligent flight modes. Then when you hit that button there, they all pop up at the bottom of the screen and you can see you have point of interest, follow me, waypoints, home lock and course lock. So then once you get this up on the screen, then you're just gonna hit the waypoints button. We can't do it now because we don't have it in the air, but I just wanted to give you a good idea of how to get there. Once you hit that button to hit waypoints, then you have to set the altitude. You have to raise it to the correct altitude. And you'll, you'll see on the screen because it'll be red until you get to the right height and then it turns uh, blue. And then you know that you're at the right height that it will allow. And the waypoints, once you get to one waypoint, you hit record, you record the waypoint, and then you have to go at least five meters away and you go to the next waypoint and you set that one record. All right, so once you hit that last one, you hit record and then it goes to this screen and it says uh, waypoints. It tells you how what height you're at and what to set or what you're set at. You hit apply and it's gonna tell you to return, the return to home altitude is set at 30 meters, which means it'll rise to 30 meters and come back to the starting point if anything goes wrong. You hit apply, you can hide this I'll start to record. And as you can see, it'll go on the pattern that I set with the controller. What I really like about it is how it changes the direction and faces whichever way you had it facing when you hit the record button. And it makes it so easy for you to get the shots you need depending on what you're doing. way to do it so that you don't hurt your drone you don't crash it and you don't break it I've already had a couple of uh, bang ups myself I'll make another video on my crashes Hope you enjoyed it. Hope it was helpful. 
people have been giving me comments and I appreciate it. Make sure you send the comments and let me know if it was helpful to you because these are things that I wanted to know when I first got one a couple weeks ago. So I'm hoping it was, it was helpful to you and I hope you enjoyed it. So once again, your boy, the Black Cobra, with your gadgets, your games, and your gear. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. Uh, we're gonna move on from here and do some other videos because this was the fourth in the series. You should be able to check them out if you go to my channel. You can find me on Facebook, you can find me on Twitter, you can find me on Instagram, and of course, Google+. All right, till next time, people. Black Cobra, out.